She still bringing her ass over here, liking and disliking my fucking video. <laughs> that one dislike or two, which is so funny to me. I'm like, girl, do you know how many people I deal with in life that don't like me? A whole lot. I don't give a ham sandwich. I say, if you don't take your ugly ass over there, leave me alone, okay? Uh-huh, Miss Lady. Uh, girl, get it together, okay? But anyway, y'all, positivity, positivity. Yeah, when you see me in person, yeah, she still was cute. Yes, she was. And she's still getting it how you live, okay? I don't care what's going on in my life. God is always bless me but anyway y'all two minutes and I ain't talked about shit uh did y'all see the Tommy Lee video on the breakfast club I was trying to you know I was scrolling through the net and I was trying to find something to chit chat tell it what give a dog a bone to talk about and I found Tommy Lee on the breakfast club you know from love and hip-hop ATL the crazy one the one they say beat up her daughter okay she came on there to give us the 411 okay the 411 was is her daughter took edibles to school okay and of course each kid that got caught lied and said they got sick so they could get out of it you, you know how they do you know them little badass uh ninjas knew their asses was eating edibles marijuana these kids do everything shit i'm surprised they ain't taking mollies and percocet and they probably are you know i said lord jesus honey during our time i was so glad and we was coming out well we've been out but you know that was something we dealt with with our children and I grew up over there in the hood and honey seeing them standing out selling dope doing everything I said Lord be a shield save me from this you know that's what I seen for 18 years of my life it was hard you know but it, it, it taught me to be strong responsible independent hard-working and, and going through relationships marriages and situationships taught me independency you don't be, you don't depend on nobody but yourself okay when it's all said and done when it's all said and done can you pay your bills by yourself because honey today I might love you and tomorrow I might not want to be bothered with your ass okay so my young girls out there y'all listen to Miss Tiki be married be happy be in a relationship but make sure if old boy or old girl come home and say, I don't want you no more, do what I do with mine. You, you make sure you can handle it by yourself. I'm looking for my hands free so I can go live, okay? But anyway, guys, Tommy Lee said her daughter took edibles, okay, boo, to school. And it did not happen the way they say it did. When she showed up, she said she grabbed her by the hood, tried to embarrass her. She was standing by the lockers. Of course, there was a parent that seen it. And he called the police. And CPS came to her house, or DFS, which y'all call it, in other places over here in 
We call it CPS, Child Protective Services. They came one time, one time for the one time. Okay, Miss Geisha, I've been watching you, girl. And um, they came through, checked the house, did not take her children. She stated that her mom is in prison for a violation. She got her mama kids, her kids. She's the sole provider. She did not show up to court drunk. She went out the night before because she was late. Her probation officer or the judge or somebody, they did a, um, a drug test. Do you see me, girl, woman? You just coming up on me. Hello. Good morning. Good morning to you, okay? Good morning, baby. Wake up. So anyway, she was letting them know. You know, she's just coming right on over. Don't be trying to tap the hoop, the girl. Leave me in my hoop to alone. She was just telling what happened. She did. She was right. She was already on probation, getting in trouble, everything. So she said they locked her up, and uh, she just took a plea so she can get back home to her children. Children still at home, and nothing's popping. So. She don't know where all these stories are coming from. And one day, that story on The Breakfast Club has gotten over a half a million hits. I said, see, I don't know, it's something about Tommy people love. And she said her documentary is going to be coming out soon. Now we have um, The Real Black China. Woo. The Real Black China show has came, you know, episode one has came on. And somebody did upload it to the Y and the T, Miss Minnie, Minnie Pam, okay? And uh, Deanna, thank you for sliding through checking out my videos. I appreciate you guys. I really, really do, you know? And uh, Deanna Irving, y'all go over there and holler at my girl. I was in the bushes, girl, I fell out. I fell out the bushes, I'd be watching all y'all. But y'all be got, y'all, <laughs> I pay $200 a month for cable, I don't know why. The Y and the T be on and popping, okay? Girl! <laughs> check yourself before you wreck yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself, okay? But anyway, y'all, Black China and her show. Somebody put it on the Y and the T. And, um, woman, if you come over on me again, I'm gonna whoop your ass this morning. I'm gonna get out and get you a good old ass whooping while you looking over here at me. Yes, girl, Karen, okay? You better go on, leave me alone this morning. What you looking at me for? You almost came over on me and you over here looking at me crazy. Girl, you better get it. Get, 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 get it together. But anyway, you guys, um, what was I talking about? Real, the black, real China, whatever the hell she is. The real black China. I, okay, they got it on the Y and the T. Y'all didn't even have to pay the $3.99 on the Zeus Network. You guys go support her. Angela White from D.C. And her story is so real, you know. And I just hate, I, 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 I can't tolerate her and the mama not getting along. It just, it, it just, I, I can't, I can't do it. The mama cussing and screaming. It's just, you know what? I was just raised in a world where my mama was my mama, my grandma was my grandmama, but my grandmama was my mama too. Granny didn't play. I don't care. We could get mad at mama and run over granny house and granny still will slap the shit out of us and send us right on back home over there where your mama and tell you, you better go over there and listen to your mama. I don't care if your mama was right or wrong, but when granny got a hold of your ass, you got two whoopings and we stayed in the projects right by each other. And we would cry and run over there to Granny because we didn't like what Mama did. And Granny would whoop our ass and send us back over there. After we done already got a whoop. And uh, I'll be like, Granny, but I don't give a ham sandwich. You go over there and you honor your mother and your father. But my father wasn't there, so, you know. But I still honor him, you know. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, make a long story short. I cannot get into how she's disrespected her mother. I, I can't. And, uh, okay, your best friend, Treasure, been there. You made it. But I just couldn't get into, you know, 
her and the mama cussing and hollering and screaming at each other. Hopefully they did it for drama, for clicks and views, and to get people to watch it. But it, it just left a disdain in my little heart. I just, I was just, you know, ah. But anyway, y'all, they claim that Steve Harvey, 49 years old, his ass is dating that little 21 year old girl, Marjorie Harvey. Steve Harvey, yeah. Puff Daddy, P. Diddy, Sean Cone is dating Steve Harvey's little 21 year old stepdaughter. Marjorie Harvey has taught her daughter how to be a, if you're gonna be a hoe, you be a good hoe. <laughs> She has taught her to do it well, okay? Okay, whatever you do, make sure you be the best at it, okay? But anyway, you guys, let me see. Nipsey Hussle, I heard, was under investigation right before he was he uh, got killed. Yeah, LAPD was getting ready to slide in on his ass, y'all. Okay? They were trying to say he was gang affiliated and uh, drug mining. So I say, you know, I I don't know what to say on that situation. I'm gonna leave that alone. But um, yeah, they said they they had Nipsey on the investigation, and they still may go after his partners, and Lauren London, honey. Why y'all done cut off uh, the baby mama and won't help her no more? Cause she, she said her and Nipsey was still going together, slipping around. <clears throat> Lauren, you know, that's why y'all was breaking up and making up. You know, you know, you 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 know, you know Nipsey was over there dipping it. That's why he hadn't married you yet because he was still in love with that girl. Uh huh. You ain't here for me because I ain't the one that gossip. But anyway, y'all, let me see. Is it any else to chit, chat, tell it, whack, give a dog a bone? Our Kelly girlfriends are coming on. Miss Ezreal, that's her name, and uh, Jocelyn, Jocelyn Savage and Ariel Clay are coming on and stating that they good. And they haven't got put out Trump Towers and leave us alone. I say, oh, they're beautiful young ladies. I say they look like his two daughters. I'm like, what the hell is going on with this relationship? Are you married to both of them? R. Kelly, I got questions. As they say, we the people want to know what's the tea, okay? But yeah, let me get my ass off here. Follow me over there, IG Tiki44, Facebook Tiki44. Y'all know I be trying to Snapchat, tally whack, give a dog a bone. And blessings and blessings and blessings. And no matter what's going on in life, don't let the devil steal your joy, okay? Like, comment, and subscribe, guys, okay? Bye-bye. Y'all, what's going on with this traffic? Why am I at a standstill early this morning? Get it how you live, okay? <laughs>